Welcome back to our practical tutorial videos. In this video, we will look at an insert query. As you can see from our author table, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 authors. We are going to add a 13th. In order to carry out an insert query, we need to make sure that the table we're going to apply this insert query to is closed. So we'll close the author table just now. We are then going to go to the create tab and query design as normal and go to SQL view. Okay, I'm going to take out the syntax which is there, which is the select. And I am then going to proceed by typing in the SQL required to insert a new author. That starts with the word insert. That's a keyword. Into. Okay, so insert into. Then we are going to select the table that we want to insert a record into. In this case, which is the author table. We will now insert the data that we want to apply to that table. Okay, so to do that, we will type in the keyword values space and then we will open our brackets and um, at this point it's important that we enter the data or the values in the correct order and in the correct format so initially we've got our author number 5013 uh, comma to separate the values any text okay i'm going to use single quotation marks Larry, close those off, get a space and another comma. Um, again, single quote, Niven, another single quote, space, comma. Um, he is American. Single quote and space, comma. Um, when it comes to dates of birth, remember we use the hashtag. No need for a single quote round about the, the date of birth, just the hashtags. And notice the same with the number at the start. So in this case, it'll be hashtag 30 forward slash 04 forward slash 1938. And we will have the hashtag at the other side. Space and a comma. And finally, Larry Niven's website. Again, single quote, www.larry, oh, two hours, Larry Niven dot net. Close, single quote. Close the brackets. And don't forget that all important semicolon at the end okay so we'll now run that okay it gives us an award, a warning that we're about to append a row in our table we're going to select yes and if we double click and open, open our author table we can now see that the record for Larry Niven American 3004-1938 and www.larrynevin.net has been inserted. 